I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Multi 6 head. So, this is a Multi 6 3K. We've got it coupled to our Mechalac 6 MCR. Uh, the combination of an excavator with a head like this, it's amazing. The of pallet to pavement is our biggest struggle. So, this head allows us to ease off on that struggle. Again, taking the heart out of hardscaping. So, you're going to couple the machine, obviously, to the head. You do require two circuits for this machine um, to run it. You don't have two uh, active circuits. You can steal it either off the curl or off your side shift or the swing. Um, there's ways around it to get it to configure to this head. So first step is to pull the pins. We're going to line it right up. Come right down, Kent. So that's the way this one's designed. Super sweet for setting up the head. Next, we're going to connect our hydraulic lines. That again requires shutting the machine off. Then we're going to release that pressure. So we're all set up. I just want to point out too, there's several adjustments for your flow. So again, this, this requires uh, or controls your speed with the arms coming down, the clamping. Also in here, there's valving. So there's four separate valves in here that again can be adjusted for your speed and for your rotation. So this head is set up in such a way that it has a, um, it has a smart valve in there. So when you set it down, the unit or the button that you're gonna use to do the rotation then becomes your button to do your clamping. So next I wanna talk about some of the adjustments. So on the head, we have a lot of different adjustments on here and it's not as complex as it looks. Um, some, of the, some of the most uh, important things are as far as your depth. So when you get a particular product, you're gonna wanna measure your front to back on the pallet. So I'm gonna go from my spacer bar all the way out. So I'm 29 and three quarters. The dimension for that, you can see the um, painted nut right here, or head of a bolt. You measure from your back foot to the center of here. And again, that has to be the 29 and three quarters. So I've already adjusted this. If not, what we normally would do is a little slot right here, slide it right in with this tool. And this here, I can adjust that either in, you can see it moving there, or I can adjust it out. So I'm gonna adjust the two ends exact, both my ends, and then what I can do is either with a straight edge, and it's not, it wouldn't be this side, this side's more the fixed side, that's your adjusted side there. You wanna make sure that thing is dead straight. So when you're grabbing a product, it's giving it equal um, clamping. The next thing I wanna point out is some of your height adjustments. So you can adjust your height with these silver bars here. So these bars here, it's got an adjustment here. And this you're gonna adjust your up and down. So today we're dealing with a 80 mil paver. If I was dealing with a 60 mil paver, I'd wanna drop these bars down so that this here doesn't get too deep. Otherwise, it's gonna miss the product. And you wanna be able to clamp um, about halfway here and almost three quarters on the, on the uh, front of the product. Because keep in mind, you wanna take this product and you wanna butt it up against your last laid product. So you just wanna catch down here just a little bit about you know three eighths to halfway down the product, and again on the front side you can be down quite a ways on it. So that would be another adjustment there. This unit here is your tap down. So once you uh, butt your product in place and you set down, when you go to release it, this tap down springs down with a uh, little hydraulic cylinder, and that's going to push your product down in place, so you don't have pavers sticking up in the air. So next step would be to get the head down onto the pallet and then clamp it before we, uh, we set our adjustment on the sides just to make sure that everything's adjusted there properly. You can see how the head is hung on an angle back. That also gets adjusted up with the chains. And you kind of want to go on it. This is nice and smooth underneath on the head. So when you get on your product, you want to get onto it on an angle and then drop onto it. So you just roll forward, straight down. Once that's down, the, the uh, hydraulic motion that does your spinning becomes now your clamping. So that's the smart valve that's in it. So he's gonna clamp that now to test that. 
you can see there's six hydraulic heads in there that gives it nice um, compa or nice compression also here on this gauge we don't want to exceed 90 bars of pressure here at this point if you're over 90 bars of pressure that can then crack your pavers so and again all those adjustments are available here so he's going to pick up in the air and what I'm going to check for so I'm going to check to make sure we don't have sag in here sag could um, create dropping so again you can see we got a nice straight line there there's no sagging there we're clamped here we could even drop this down a little bit if we wanted to clamp further down if we wanted to but we don't have any sags we're not worried so you're about halfway there so you want that right there at the bottom so when that releases you're not going to be catching any sand or your uh, number eight stone setting bed so next we want to back these off and again this is a stopper for the alignment arms when they come down it's going to bump this but to adjust it we want to back these all the way off so i suck both these in on both sides So once those are all the way in, then I can bring my clamping arms down. So this next step is really the only part that requires a little bit of math. We're going to measure the width of our pallet. These bars here need to be three centimeters narrower than your pallet width. And again, three centimeters is about 1.18 inches. The back needs to be two centimeters narrower. So that's 0.79 uh, inches. So again, these arms are adjusted with a wrench. So he's simply gonna loosen. And then I can easily adjust in and out and that's what's gonna allow me to adjust these arms in and out. We're gonna wanna double check and make sure that this adjustment is even on both sides. You want the head centered on your pallet, so that's crucial. So again, we're gonna adjust this distance, make sure it's even on the sides do the same with the back. This stopper here, and we want to move it out to the um, to the alignment arm. And that's all I'm going to do is just crank this out until that bumps there. Then it's aligned properly. And what this does is this centers the head on the uh, on the layer of pavers, so you don't end up with um, the clamp grabbing part way through. So that'll get it exact. So I'll do both sides, adjust this up. That way when you clamp it, it'll shift this head so it's dead center. So the last step to setting up the clamp be to put the handles on. You don't want the handles. You don't want to hold on to these in case these flop down. That can get a little dangerous. Two little pins here. Then you're just slipping it on that shaft. Slide them down. Flip it over, and that's it. So again, this gives you control, keeps you out of harm's way with these here coming down. The object is to come up to the product, get right on it, set it right down, and you got your alignment. That's what you're gonna do before you clamp it. And then I can clamp here. And you're gonna watch that back shaft there's a little pin there that you want to make sure it goes all the way down. Now I'm ready to pick up. So I pick my product up. I'm ready to install.